She was a publisher and a writer and journalist in a newspaper in Arkansas, and she would write in her newspaper calling out all of the schools that weren't following the desegregation laws. And she was just special to me because she went out of her way to make sure that the kids were protected and had an equal opportunity in education. When it came to Little Rock Central High School, there was the Little Rock Nine, which were one of the first kids to be integrated into the school. Um, and she would go out of her way to like bring them to school and walk them into the school, protect them from the violent crowds. And she took on like a lot of harassment for it and eventually had to close down her beloved newspaper. But she did it because she knew that it was important and that it had to be done. I will become a teacher after I graduate and it just really inspires me to always make sure there's equal opportunity and to do the most for the kids that really need it and to fight for those who don't have a voice and she's really special to me because from start to finish she stuck with those kids. Her legacy is definitely left behind the lesson that no matter what oppressions you're faced, no matter what challenges come in life, you have to be brave and strong in the face of them and continue to do and stand up for what's right and fight for those who need fighting for. She did it because she knew that she had to face those challenges and those hardships and fight for others and that's really inspiring as someone like especially as a young woman growing, going out into the new world, it's super inspiring to just know that there has been such brave and strong women before me that have done it. So I'm reassured that I can do 